Hello guys, I'm Kat Falk and welcome to another Artbox unboxing video. Art Snacks were kind enough to send me another one of their boxes, so that's what I'm gonna take a closer look at today. Art Snacks is an art supply subscription box and they send out one new box every month. So let's find out what August box has to offer. And then I'm also going to try out the supplies that's inside, so stay tuned for that. This is the second time I'm opening an Art Snacks box and if you would like a more full-scale review of the box itself, I recommend you to check out the first video that I made. I will leave a link to it here somewhere. And this is not a sponsored video, I get all these boxes for free to try out and share with you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I post at least one artsy video every week. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'm catfalk there as well. So the first thing that caught my attention when I first opened the box is this Sailor Stripe bag from Bagu. And with this one you can carry art supplies with you when you are traveling or just going somewhere and it can apparently expand even more and become even larger and I think you could actually fit the whole box in there. Yeah, you could almost fit the whole box in there. So I think I never seen a pencil case in a box like this before so I think that's a very nice and interesting item to get. Then we have this card with all the information you will need about all the supplies that's inside the box and also their retail prices. And a little art snack sticker and some candy to snack on while creating. Then to the supplies. The first thing is this Copic Classic marker and I got it in the color YG03 yellow green and it got one pointy nib for more finer details and a wider chisel nib for larger area fills and I believe that most people that are into art are familiar with these ones. I don't use them myself but I know that they are high quality markers. Next up is this huge tube of System Free acrylic paint from Dale Rowney. I got it in the color Cadmium Red and it looks super vibrant. I really like acrylic paint, I've used it a lot and you can mix it with water to make it thinner if you want that, if you want it more translucent. And it also dries very quickly, which I really like. I don't have the time or patience to watch paint dry. I haven't painted with acrylics in a while, so that will be very nice to try out again. Then the last supply in the box is this slightly angled paintbrush from Robert Simmons that I can use with acrylic paint. It is a synthetic brush and is supposed to provide both softness and control while painting, so it sounds like it is of good quality. So that's all the supplies in the box and I have to say that I wish there were a bit more variety of materials to use. I mean, I love the bag and all that and I'm sure it will come in handy, but I'm afraid I don't have that much to work with when it comes to the actual art supplies. Instead of this giant tube of paint, we could have gotten two smaller ones perhaps, so that we could have been able to mix more colors at least. Oh well, I should not complain, let's make this into a two color challenge instead. I'm sure I can make something fancy anyway, so let's go! So the first thing I do, as usual, is trying out the supplies on a scrap piece of paper. I wanted to see how I could work with these two mediums together, since they are quite different from each other. Since I didn't get any kind of drawing tools in the box, I used my own lead pencil to make the sketch. I would also use it later on for more details. And I first thought I would use a fine liner as well, but I wanted to challenge myself and use as few additional art supplies as possible. Maybe I will redraw it someday, because I really like this cute little cat. But if you like this one, there will be prints of it up for sale in my Etsy shop, so I will put a link to it down in the description so check it out if you want to. Then I added some green with a Copic marker and filled in some of the details. I also made a lot of leaves around the cat, giving the feeling that it's sitting outside and enjoying the nature. I like the marker, especially the smaller pointed nib. It's not super thin, but it worked fine for the smaller details anyway, and the color is pretty as well. I noticed that the paint worked just fine on top of the marker and created this darker color tone, 
but I couldn't use the marker on top of the paint since it was barely visible and the paint stained the pen nib. So I will have to use the marker first and then add the paint. And I wanted a paper that could stand the wet paint, so I'm using the Langton watercolor paper from Daily Rowney. I wasn't really sure on how to work the red paint into the drawing since I didn't want to hide the green color too much. So I used it to add some red leaves around the cat and I love the vibrant color and the paint feels so smooth to use. As I said, I don't think I've ever used acrylic paint of this good quality before and it makes me want to start painting with acrylic again. The brush isn't really made for finer details, I noticed, but if I angled it a little and used the edge of it, it worked just fine. I do really like the paintbrush, it's very soft and nice to work with. I've actually never used any professional brushes with acrylic paint before. A few years ago when I was painting a lot, I could never afford higher quality paints or brushes, so it's nice to be able to try out both of them now. And to try out the brush even more, I made this sky, or whatever you could call it, around the cat. I used the flat side of the brush to create this pattern, which I think looks pretty nice, and it gave more color balance to the art piece. I added a lot of water to the paint to get a more translucent look. I like that with acrylic paint that you can make it as thin as you like with water, and as thick as you like without water. So this was a fun challenge, I really like the way it turned out at the end and I hope you like it too. I did enjoy working with fewer supplies and it's really testing your creativity. My favorites were the paint and brush, they worked great together as brush and paint should do. I will leave a link down in the description to where you can get an art snacks box if you would like to try out one yourself. I think it is a good way to find out about and try out new materials. So that's all for now, thank you so much for watching and keep drawing my happy cats, bye!